Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the LED light module in a KitchenAid refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a putty knife. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new LED light module. There are two identical LED light modules used in this refrigerator. One in the freezer compartment, another one in the fresh food section. They are mounted on the ceilings. When the door opens, the module turns the lights on. The main reason to replace the LED light module is if it's broken, causing the lights not to work. As I mentioned earlier, we've got two identical LED modules that uh, located one in the freezer, one in the fresh food. So this is the uh, freezer one, and this is the fresh food one. So this module is uh, held in place by four clips, two on each side. I'm going to use the putty knife, and I'm going to press onto this uh, clip right there. And pull it down, and then I'm going to go to this side and do the same thing. So I'm going to press it down and open it. All right, now we're going to disconnect the three plugs. Uh, right there, the tab. I'm going to press it in, pull it out. And then we got here tabs on this side. This is the old LED light module next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, so we're gonna install the new LED light module. It goes in this way. These two clips are spread more than the two front ones. So, And I'm gonna plug it in first. You can't really mix them around because they're all different size. And this one. Okay, now I'm gonna insert this ones and press in and push up at the same time. And now we can close the door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. 